What's up, y'all? Back with another video. It's your boy Marcus out here in Mexico, Guadalajara, doing some tequila tasting. See it? You know I'm gonna be looking for them sports cars too. There's a Walmart, so I'm gonna hit that up later. But today's activity, tequila tasting. Let's get it. I don't know. It's a whole bottle. The juice comes over here. I'm burning something now. That's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> okay, guys, today you're gonna drink five different tequilas. Okay? So the first one you're gonna drink is the main brand of the house, which is tequila Los Tres Tonios. It consists in a white tequila, a reposado tequila, and an aged tequila. Also, you're gonna drink. Tequila insolente y tequila mis aguacates. ¿Ok? Están borrachos. Y ya que nos hiciste tan borrachos. Hágase tu voluntad. Hágase tu voluntad. Ave María. Ave María. Yo no quería. Yo no quería. Me obligó el guía. Me obligó el guía. Que me devuelvan como yo venía. Que me devuelvan como yo venía. Padre nuestro. Padre nuestro. Qué bueno está esto. Qué bueno está esto. Bendito tequila. Bendito tequila. Sagrado alimento. Sagrado alimento. ¿Qué haces afuera? ¿Qué haces afuera? Vamos para adentro. Vamos para adentro. Salud. 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 Okay, this is okay. It's not bad. Okay, it's <laughs> yeah, this is better than the other one. <laughs> so, ten years aged. We did like a little prayer thing. Oh. Said a prayer. Okay, basically, it was saying. Now you can buy some bottles. It's only like twenty to thirty dollars for these bottles. I don't know how many of his Bomb. Straight from the factory. My parents. Cheers. We're headed to Tequila Town to finish up the day with tequila tasting. Grab some lunch and then I got sports card clips coming up next. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We're here, Tequila Town. Tequila Town right now. It's lit. It's like Vegas, you can drink your drink. My sorry tacos, I messed up on my order. I should have got what they had or what my girlfriend had, but oh well, still something to eat. Hers was fire. That right there was so long, I should have got me the same thing. Man, I was mad about that one. Tequila tour, tequila bus. Unique places to stay. These are hotel rooms, barrels, tequila plants, right here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> 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 
Just got dropped off in the Uber. Sports card hunting in Guadalajara. Walking to the spot right now. Got to find it. They said they got the sports cards. Let's pull up on them. See if they got in there. You know I'm on the hunt. <laughs> Check it out. It's like a little shopping mall. Buy all kinds of stuff. Gotta get something to eat too. So got in, this is the first floor. Checking around the first floor. This first floor had a bunch of video games, old consoles. They had a Nintendo 64, bunch of video games, pop toys everywhere. Like every booth had a pop toy. A t-shirt shop right there. This is a Nintendo 64. I used to be playing that heavy back in the day. That Mario, you already know what time it is. Nice. Get the old shit, man. Yes. Old school. You only find it in the ghetto. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They got some Pokemon back there, but the shop is already closed. So this is the collectors though. They got video games, pop, pop toys. They got some cards right here. So actually that one that was closed, that was the one that was supposedly supposed to have the sports card and they was closed. I don't really think they had it because everybody else, they didn't have it, so why would they have it, all right? I don't think they that special. Or who knows, they was closed. But I asked this lady, she says she didn't have any. They found a bunch of magic and Pokemon and stuff. So I went to another booth. As you see, he was loaded up on Pokemon as well. He had a bunch of Pokemon. I asked him how much that box was more than you can get it back here so i was like nah you tripping homie uh and i asked him if they had any sports cards he was like nah you can check upstairs or somewhere he gave me another booth number to check out but he didn't have nothing so kept it moving <laughs> Got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I basically was walking around this whole shopping center. It had three levels. All um, anime, video games, anything you could think of. It had a lot of stuff. But one thing they didn't have with sports cards I was breaking them down I was going to every booth that was open and I couldn't find any I was searching a lot of Pokemon if you're into Pokemon this was the spot plus the other cards they had they had a lot of good you know selections for that kind of stuff but nobody had any soccer or NBA or football like man they need to get some of that in here that's the only thing they missing that's the only thing they missing <laughs> all right they had the little toys on display right there but other than that this place was cool it had a lot of pop toys you know what i'm saying it had a lot of selections of pop culture things everything so it was pretty cool this was right in that city center city center i'll put the links and the description um found another shop had a lot of pokemon as you see right here had the small packs, big packs, a lot of pops. But yeah, if you're ever in Guadalajara and you want the name of this spot, it's going to be in the description of the address where I went, where you can go to this spot if you're ever out there. You can come up on some Pokemon for sure. Uh, and that's it. Three levels. Find your cards, trading cards. And that's it. Cell phone stuff downstairs. And we out. No luck.
at that spot. But that was a collector spot right there. They had a lot of video games, old school video games, Pokemon, a lot of that kind of stuff. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh, anime, everything. They had everything up in there. So that was pretty cool. It's like three levels. So if you're out here in Guadalajara and you look for some Pokemon, that's the spot to go. You already know. I'm looking up everything. I'm still on the hunt, on the mission to find some type of sports cars, but we don't know. It's not a big thing out here in Mexico. But they do like that anime and all that Pokemon stuff, though. I'll tell you that much. The mission continues. Stay tuned. Going to get something to eat right now, though. Out here in the city center. So this is the fancy restaurant. It's located on the more, you know, fancier side of town. Nice mall here. This is the steakhouse we're going to. Super bomb. You know, I like the hole in the wall and then the fancy restaurants. This is the fancy one. So if you're out here, must go. My steak was fire. Girl got the chicken with the mashed potatoes. And like some Asian tangy sauce or something like that. It was bomb. It was good. The restaurant is real nice. It's actually outside uh, but you can smoke in there people were smoking it's outside but there's like a i don't know how to explain it outside inside thing but it was cool as you can see fire this is the airbnb a little loft Not the area up there check it out it's the kitchen Tea, drinks, patio over here. Got a patio upstairs too. Got bunk beds here. This bed is hard though. It's like super hard. Bathroom, and I got a bathroom and shower upstairs. So it's two bath, one bedroom loft. It's pretty nice. Super host. Hooked it up with the water. You feel me? You know you need the water in Mexico. And free cookies from the house. Here is the upstairs loft. See? Nice. So the outside. Smoking patio. Bam. Bathroom. There you go. Today's activity go see this museum. Cabanos. Something like that. Let's go check it out. fish right there. See it? hundreds back back in the day Crazy. So we found the market. This is like the downtown LA of Guadalajara. They have a lot of places to shop and eat, people buying fake stuff. But this is the locals, you know what I'm saying? Hole in the wall spots. 
I got some fish at this restaurant. I seen some locals eating it. I said, hey, let's pull up on this one. She got the shrimp cocktail. It was pretty good. Just had to spice it up with some hot sauce. Had the big shrimp in there too. Some chunks of uh, avocado as well. It was good. And I got the fried fish. It's not tilapia, but it's some type of other fish. It was good too. You know what I'm saying? Hit the local spot. The hole in the wall. And it was cheap. Hella cheap. Like five dollars, I think. That's the museum over there. Came for the Japanese garden and it's closed. No. This, this is all we can see. Man, they got it blocked off. They got all these squirrels out here harassing us. I guess it's time to go. You see it, Walmart. This is my last location I can check for these sports cards. Hopefully they got something here at the Walmart. It's a uh, slim, slim to zero chance, but you know, I'm always on the hunt. So last time I stopped in, when we was in Mexico, we went to Walmart too. So might as well check, see if there's anything here while we're here. I checked all of the toy sections and I asked a couple employees if they ever seen any, if they know about any. And I checked all the little toy sections that had pop toys, other little things going on, but no luck on the So that's it. It was worth a try. There was nothing there, so nothing at Walmart. That's gonna do it for this edition. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace. That's it. It's a wrap. Time to go. Don't ever fly this airline. They suck. Maybe pay extra $25 to put my bag on. No reason. When it fits up there. Tripping. Never again.